Hey guys, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded a video. So I finally got to give me more and I finished it this morning. This is the third book in the Salacious Players Club by Sarah Kate. This is a menage book between a married couple and their best friend. So I will have to say I really enjoyed this one actually a lot more than Praise which is the first book. I didn't quite get to the second book yet but I'm working t towards that but I really like this one because there's a lot more um um relationship development between the characters all three because again you have a married couple and their long time best friend okay so this one is about Hunter, Drake, and Isabel Drake is the playboy basically he doesn't like to commit but there's something that draws him to Drake I mean Hunter and Isabel not only because Hunter and Drake have been friends since basically childhood days and then Hunter gets married to Isabel there is a slight age gap because Drake and Hunter are like maybe three or four years older than Isabel it's not that big of an age gap but it's a very slight one um Drake has really had this um secret love like romantic love for his um long time best friend Hunter and Hunter I think deep down he loves Drake in an intimate way, but because of what happened to, let's just say, Hunter's father is very, I'm going to just say religious, because some people are not so open-minded, but... Drake is a very openly bisexual man, so he likes both, and I'm going to just say, the premise of the story is Drake, Isabel, and Hunter go on like this road trip for a couple weeks just to enhance the um what's the word just to like add more stuff to their club so like um Emerson says I'm gonna let you and your wife and Drake go along to try to come up with some new ideas for a club. So they 
all go on this road trip for a couple of months to enhance their club more and along the way all three of them start to catch feelings it's a little bit more difficult for hunter because of what of his background I will say that at first in the beginning I didn't quite like Isabel because someone that is kind of struggling with their sexuality like Hunter is in this book she kind of kept pushing him and for someone that has like struggled with their sexual preference you don't want to do that to a person and I didn't like her in that regard but I understood where she was coming from and, um, I also didn't quite like that when, because this happened in the beginning of the book, where Hunter's, I mean, Drake is home with, you know, two women, and he calls them, like, mattress ornaments, which is kind of insulting. Because he doesn't see people when he sleeps with them. He just does it out of desire. But when Hunter and Isabel come into play, his whole mindset is different. He cares about them because they have a long-term friendship and respect. For Drake. Um, I didn't like the fact that Isabel was kind of fantasizing about Drake even when she was with her husband. I thought that was a little disrespectful on Hunter's regard and she was trying to push Hunter and Drake together, which I also thought was a, a little wrong for her to do because for her husband to struggle with his um, sexuality, you don't want to push him too much. And when she kind of pushed him too much, he left for a couple of weeks. And all three of them were distraught. So, overall, I really enjoyed. Um, give me more. I really can't wait for Mercy, which is Bo and Maggie's book. Bo is the son of Emerson from the first book and Maggie is like the only woman in the group <laughs> and considering that Emerson is dating Bo's ex that should be real interesting so I will talk to you guys in the next video bye